All right, guys, welcome back. So now in this video, I'm actually gonna show you how you can add your own products. So I remember on the front end when we did the first course, there was a lot of people by the end that they were a bit confused about how you can add your own products if you wanna add different images, different names or whatever. So I'm gonna show you in this video that. But first of all, if you remember from the last video, we actually got all these products from our backend. And if we go into the code itself, we did that in here, inside of our main.js, inside of the populate products function. And what we did in here was we injected these products that we got from our API. Look, we make the call to the backend. We got this new variable products that initially was an empty array. Now is gonna be equal to those products that we got from the backend. And then we call this function of populate products which this basically what it does is selecting our container in the front end and then populating that container with this HTML inside with the product image, product name, price, and so on. Now, one problem that we have in here is that um, we have this kind of commas. Look, we got these commas in between the products. This is because this variable products HTML is like an array with all these values. And what we did in here was, okay, let's update the inner HTML of this container. That's what we did. And then it's gonna be equals to whatever was there from before. I'm actually don't, don't even need to put the plus equal. The plus equals means that it's gonna be whatever was there from before plus this one. So this is gonna be products HTML to string. So we can convert that array into a string. And now we want to actually get rid of those commas. So we need to do dot replace all. We wanna replace any comma that we have in there with just an empty space, or it could be just like this, okay? And now if we go back to the front end, we refresh the page, now it's gone. All right, so we got the first thing solved. Now, the next problem that we have in here is that, as you can see, when we are hovering these elements, first of all, this is not working, look. Even if you click, you see, all our work that we did from before is like broken, is not working. So we're gonna fix that first of all. So, as you can see, look, all of them that we have in here, they are working for the add to cart to pop up, but the first one is not. So, this is because, when we are running this class in here of cart one, cart two, and so on, um, this i, this index from this function, starts at index zero. So basically, we don't have that CSS from cart zero. So let's go to our styles.css, and if we scroll down to that section where we were doing that, look, this is what we were doing image, hover, and then we got cart one, cart two, cart three, cart four. So I could simply come in here and instead of just doing I, which starts at zero and then goes to one, two, three, it doesn't matter how many products you have, I could simply go in here and put plus one. And now if I refresh, look, it's all working. But the problem that we have in here is that if you have like 10 products, 20 products or whatever, this kind of way that we are setting up our styles is not gonna be like very dynamic. It's gonna take us a long time like to, you have to manually come in here and add this for the 20 products, 100 or whatever. So we're gonna do this in a better way. So what we're gonna do is, let's just comment out this that we have in here. And what we are gonna do is, we are going to add a class, let's create in here, a class called show add card. So what I want to do is basically, when I'm hovering with my mouse in one of these products, so I'm gonna refresh, this is not gonna work at the moment, okay? Because this class does not exist anywhere. So what I want to do is like, when I'm hovering one of these products, I wanna select that product in specific and I, I wanna add this class of show add card. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so that's that. Uh, so let's do that. Um, I'm gonna go on my main.js. 
So under the populate products, so that's exactly where I'm going to do that. I can actually just like delete these products. We're no, not going to use them anymore. So let's do that. Let's go to our main.js and I'm going to call this function now add cart action. So let's do that. Let's do function. And I'm going to call this add cart actions. Okay. We're going to do that. And in here, what we are going to do is we're going to grab all the cards that we have on the page. So we already actually have them in here on the top. Look, we got this one cards, query selector, add card. So we don't even have to do that again. So we have this one in here on the top cards, because if you remember, look, we got add cart, add cart. We got these everywhere. Look, add cart in all the products. We already got this. So if we don't need that, the next thing that I want to do is I want to do the hover the products. So I'm going to do const hover the products is going to be equals to this time I'm going to do document dot get elements by class name of image. So I want to grab all these elements, all these products, basically they are going to be wrapped in this div with a class of image. So that's why I'm going to do const hover products equals to document get, get elements by class name of image. So basically this is going to be like an array because it's, it's going to be multiple elements in here. So now that we got this, the next thing I want to do is I want to do a for loop. So I'm going to do for let i equals to zero. So we're going to do a loop that starts from zero until i is going to be less than hover products dot length and then i plus plus. Okay, so now that we're going to loop through all these products that we have, what we want to do in there, I want to do first of all, uh, over products, I, so basically, when we are running this loop, every time that we're running this loop, first of all, I want to grab the first product that I'm hovering, then the second one, I'm basically hovering this one, this div. Okay, and then I can access everything inside the image, the product, the add to cart button and so on. So I want to add an event listener to each one of those elements. And the event listener that I want to add in there is going to be a mouse over. So mouse over. So this is the way that you can actually add an event listener to an element with a mouse over. So when we run this, what we want to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to add a function to run when we do this. And I want to grab the cards I. So if you remember the cards, we already got it on the top. We already got these like from the, the first course that we did. Uh, so these cards basically is just a variable that is grabbing all the add to cards on the page. So look, this is going to be one, the second product will have another one and so on, because this is like an array. Basically, when you are grabbing all of these, this query selector all, you could use document.get elements by class name to select them all, or you could use the query selector all. It's going to be the same thing. Okay. So basically now when we are looping through these hover products, these divs with the ID of an image, uh, the class of an image, I want to basically add an event listener. When I hover the div with the class of image, that div in particular, I want to grab the add to cart button. That's why I'm doing in here carts I, because it's going to share the same I. And then what I'm going to do is I want to add a new class list to it. So we can do class list dot add. And now I'm going to put in here show add cart. Okay. So basically when I'm hovering that product, I will add this class list to this element. Okay. To this add cart. So let me just refresh the page and see if this is working. Okay. I'm just going to select this and I'm going to hover it. Um, somehow 
I think something, ah, this is because this is still not working because we created the function, but we never call it. So we want to call this function to run after we populate the products, after we populate the products on the page, all right? That's where we want to do that. So I'm just gonna put it in here, if container, and then I'm just gonna put in here, add cart actions. We, we only wanna do that if we have a container in there already. Okay, so let's do that. Let's refresh the page. I'm gonna hover this. Let's just see, we got this one in here, image, and we got the add to cart. So I'm gonna hover, hover. Um, I think something, something is missing. So let me just put in here, just in case, if we are doing something wrong, a console.log of um, hovering, hovering products. Let's see, because basically we are adding this event listener when we hover these elements. So it has to work. We need to see this console.log. If we don't see, it's because something is wrong. Okay, so something is wrong in here with this. So let's figure out what's wrong in here. All right, so I think I know what might be the problem for this. I think it's because when we did this document elements by class name, we don't need to pass in here the dot because we are already saying that this is a class name. So we should just say image, all right? So now we should be able to pass these event listeners to each one of them. Let's refresh, let's try it again. And now, uh, I think they were just getting some errors saying cannot read property class list of undefined. So I think this is referencing to these cards that we have in here. So maybe it's better for us to just actually pass this one in here. So let's just pass this one in here as well. So we got our cards in here referenced directly. Uh, so it makes it easier to just like grab it from there. Uh, so this should now fix our problem. So I'm gonna, as you can see, look, every time that we are hovering one of the products, we have access to this add to cart, all right? So it's still not doing anything, but at least we got that. Now that we are hovering a product with this, we want that whenever we move our mouse out, it's gonna remove this add to cart because we don't wanna see it if we don't have the mouse in there. So it's gonna be very similar to what we have in here. And what we are gonna do is we're gonna do another for loop. So let's just copy this for loop. We're gonna do this again for the same thing like what we have in here. Um, we actually don't need to do another for loop. We can actually do it inside of this for loop. So let's just inside of the for loop still, let's do this time a hovers product. So I'm just gonna, copy this, paste it in here. We're gonna do hover products i. We're gonna add an event listener. This time is not, is not gonna be for mouse hover, but it's gonna be for mouse out, all right? And what we want to do this time is just like selecting the add to cart that you are hovering with, going to a class list dot remove, and you wanna remove this add to cart. So. That should be very straightforward, I believe. Um, let's just refresh, and there it is. Look, is working all fine. So if you add more products in the future, because now we have these in here with JavaScript, basically you don't have to go to these styles.css and add these one by one like we had from before. Okay, let me even delete this. We don't need that anymore. All right, we got our show add cart. One last thing that we need in here is, basically, look, if you click in these add to cards, right now is not working, okay? Because we didn't pass in here any event listener to it. So what we need to do in here at the moment is still inside of these add to cart actions and after this for loop where we are adding these actions to hover the add to cart, we are gonna create another for loop. So let's do another for loop. I'm just gonna copy this one that I have in here. 
And this time I want to loop through these cards. Okay, this variable of cards is selecting all our add to cart buttons, those ones that we are just seeing. So I'm just going to put in here cards, which is this one. So I'm going to do four, let i equals to zero, i less than cards of length, i plus plus. And what I want to do is I want to do cards i, and then I'm going to do in here an add event listener. So we, we could even do this inside of this for loop if you want all of it inside. I'm just putting it outside so you guys can see that we are doing two different things. So we're going to do cards i dot add event listener. And the event listener that I want to do is a click. So whenever you click in one of them, we're going to run a function and do something. So what is this function going to do? We want to do the cart numbers function. All right, so we want to do the cart numbers function. And we want to pass inside of it the products i. Okay, so because we already have this variable in here on the top. So basically, whatever, wherever we are. So we are in here. Whenever we click, these are to cart, we want to pass inside of these cart numbers function, the product I corresponding to this cart. So we know that if you are clicking on the first add to cart, you are basically adding the first product. So this is all from the previous course, guys. I'm not touching anything that was in there, just making it work now. Calling the cart numbers. And now I'm going to call the total cost. And I'm also going to put in here the products, products i inside. And just like this, everything now should be working in here in order to see that onto, let's see that. I'm going to add onto the cart this black t-shirt and a gray hoodie. Let's go in here. We've got the black t-shirt, gray hoodie. Let's try to go in here and increase this. Yeah, this is all good. Okay. Perfect. And let's try to delete. It's gone and it's gone. All right, perfect. So we got all of these. Now, one last thing before we finish this video, that's what I promise you in here is, let's add a new product. If you wanna add your own product, how can you do it? So maybe I'm going to stop in here. I'm going to stop in here on this uh, video just to make it completely clean. And you can just go to a complete new video. If you just want to watch that, maybe it's going to be better. Okay, let's finish this video now. In the next video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. All right, I'll see you in the next one.